Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hangout with me in the kitchen space. In this episode, let's make some matumbo and we are making some matumbo wet fry and matumbo are called tripes in English and these are the list of ingredients that I'm going to be using. I'm keeping it very simple and from this corner, I have my matumbo that I've already pre-boiled and I boil them with some ginger. I have my onions, coriander leaves. For the list of spices, I only have some rico powder and some black pepper and that's it. I also have some salt, some cooking oil, some ginger paste, garlic, coriander stems, tomatoes, some capsicum, and finally I have my tomato paste. And without further ado, let's get started. As my pan continues getting hot, I'll go in with my tripes and I'll add them at this point so that they can completely dry before we can start frying them. So I'm going to toast this for about two or three minutes then they should be good. Now that I'm happy with this, I'll go in with some cooking oil. I'll add in about two tablespoons of cooking oil. Then I'm also going to add in my ginger and my onions. Then I'm going to give this a couple of minutes so that my onions can start cooking. Then at this point, I'll go in with my tomatoes. And I'm also going to add in my garlic. I had not added salt when boiling, so I'll go in with some salt. And I'm also going to add in my black pepper. Then I'll sprinkle my uh, coriander stems. Then I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about two minutes or so, so that my tomatoes can soften.
this looks appetizing and to deglaze my pan i'll go in with my tomato paste that i've mixed with some hot water And this looks already yummy. And you can see that our pan has been glazed at the bottom. There is nothing sticking to it. Wow, oh, this looks appetizing. So I'm going to give my tomato paste about a minute so that it can cook. Then I'll be back. So as you can see things are progressing on very well and at this point we have not yet added our capsicum so I'm going to go in with my capsicum but you can also add your capsicum earlier uh, it depends with how you make them Then remember we had some Rico powder and this is where we get to add it. I've mixed my Rico powder with some cold water and then uh, this is what is going to make our wet fry. So remember as I always mention, a wet fry is not a stew. A wet fry is something that you will enjoy na huta nyongwa na pia haina soup you cannot touch the soup so it's something very succulent very moist but it doesn't have tangible soup so that's what you are making and our rico powder and the cold water is going to help us achieve that so as you can see this is what we have and i'm going to let this simmer for about five to seven minutes then our dish is going to be ready And finally, our meal is ready. And just look at this. Uh, this looks so delicious. So I'm going to switch this off. Then I'm going to garnish it with my coriander leaves. And this is ready for serving and tasting. Always remember to salt your avocado and as you've seen it was that easy preparing this matumbo wet fry and I've served mine with some spinach and avocado and some ugali and let's dig in. This tastes amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. 
Now let's do the whole combination. And as you think it was that easy, so I hope you are going to try this recipe. I also hope you enjoyed and I also hope you have something new. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.